Hi folks, Steve here at Ross Trailers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a Sport Track model 251 FK front kitchen. New floor plan for 2021. I really like it. Uh, lots of kitchen, lots of kitchen counter. Beautiful little trailer. And little is the right word. It's 28 foot 9 inch. That's including the tongs, so it's 25 foot a box. Uh, very well equipped. It's a Sprock, uh, Sport Track product line. So from Venture, uh, they don't go halfway on the uh, accessories and options. So uh, we're going to take a video, we're going to do the all-in-one video, so exterior interior, focus mostly on the interior and uh, talk about some of those features. So at the, on the outside, uh, you get an electric tongue jacks, 2 times 20 pounder, right behind we have a uh, battery disconnect, stone guard, beautiful front cap with an incorporated window. Now folks, you may see some uh, black streak. This was outside for a little while. We just brought it back in to do the video. Um, eventually, we're gonna give it a bath before you come and pick it up. On the side, rain gutters with spot extension. Gas electric water heater. Patio light. There's also some lights on the awning roll. Large foldable entry handle. Uh, bottle opener, dog knee shoulder. You got the new track steps. I'm really liking those. Aluminum wheels, nitro field, radial tires. Because this is a front kitchen, your bedroom is at the back, so your storage at the back. Extremely large with a very nice access to it. Your door, slam latch handles, magnetic holder. One key fit all the locks, so everything, including a main entrance door, uses the same lock. At the back, roof ladder. It's ready for a backup camera. Cable satellite ready in the corner. There is a two inch uh, trailer hitch. This is perfect for your bike rack. And right around the corner here, we have our power, uh, power outlets. It's a, a portable or a, a, a twist on a 30 amp cable. Black tank flush, your city water connection, your fresh water tanks, and your valves are right underneath here as well. Uh, Talking about the underbelly, fully enclosed and heated. There's even four blue LED lights underneath to give you some mood lighting. Overall, a great trailer. This one came with frameless windows. Our slide out, dapple wiper seals. The little bulb is in the track. They even put a rain gutters over top of the slide out. Just beautiful exterior construction. Rack and pinion system underneath, the best slide out system in the industry. Let's, uh, let's go inside, take a look. Everything LED lights on the exterior. Self-closing screen door. All right, front kitchen. Not a disappointment, look at that. Plenty of counter all the way across. Really liking that. There's a power outlet on each side, so no problem for the coffee maker and the toaster. Deep stainless steel undermounted single bowl farmer style. Nice little tap as well. There's a drying rack with it. The front window comes with a blind. Little bit of storage above. Wine rack, microwave, range hood vented outside. Three burner stove with double uh, folded glass top flush mounted. Really like them. A very nice cast iron grill on top of it. Actually lights up as well. Uh, oven, same thing. You got a light in the oven. All finished in enamel. It's made by Furion. Very good uh, product in the industry. Lots of storage below. Definitely room for a couple bins in there. Nice drawer. Ball bearing hardware. The whole drawer comes right out glide very nicely freestanding table and chair storage below as well all of our windows open including the one at the end three-fold sleeper sofa so you get an extra sleeping arrangement if you have guests coming pleated shades on all the windows as well a little bit of storage above uh, the interior trailer is as LED lights uh, right beside the stove we have a pantry with uh, Adjustable shelf you can add or remove if you want you can put a bar or whatever it is that you want to do with the space Eight cubic foot gas electric fridge. So that's pretty rare uh, 
that's getting to be very, very rare. Most of the trailers are manufactured with 12 volt fridge only. This is a traditional RV fridge. And there is a place where you pots and pans. In the uh, by the entrance, a place for your coat. And if you have too many of them, there's some coat hook on the other side. Uh, your monitor panel uh, for your water uh, capacity, your lights, your slide out, and your awning, it's all there. Right in front of the sofa, we have the TV. It's actually on the mount. You can swivel it around. Fireplace. It's electrical, so you do need to be uh, plugged in shore power for it to work. There's also a little electrical uh, heater in there, so it'll produce some heat. They leave the bottom open. It's a perfect spot to put your shoes. A little bit of storage and your radio. So AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, and HDMI. So this thing does it all. It's already connected to the TV. I love the fact there's a DVD player. You can put a... 399 Walmart bin special in there. Uh, your uh, your old thermostat for your heat and your AC. So your AC is ducted through the roof. Uh, they put some closable vents as well and furnace through the floor. One thing we missed is in the kitchen slash dining room. There's a nice skylight to bring the natural light in, and there's a a blind as well if it gets a little too bright. Bathroom, two doors, so one from here and one from the bedroom. Foot flush porcelain toilet, a nice shower, angled iron with glass door. There's a skylight, so if you're very tall, it's not an issue. I'm five foot eight, there's another foot above my head. A nice little vanity with a stainless steel sink, a medicine cabinet, power fan. Skylight, we talked about that. There's a vent for the cooling. Uh, there's a light switch on the wall. There's a, fan, a button as well for your fan. There is a motion detector LED night light as well. And right here we have a, a little add-on system. It's for leveling the trailer. So uh, you download an app on your phone and this thing will tell you when you are side to side level and front to back level. Now the bedroom. I've always been a big fan of the rear bedroom. It's a little harder to get in smaller trailers. So this is kind of interesting because when you park at the campsite, folks, the front of the trailer is normally where your bedroom is, and it's also where the road is. So you get the noise from the car and the kids riding their bike first thing in the morning because uh, that's where the bedroom is. So at the very least here, you're towards the back. It gets a little quieter. You can sleep a little longer. Uh, big fan of it. So what I really like about this bedroom, there is three windows. So uh, an amazing ventilation. Look at the size of the window in the back. Shirt sure closet, real bar, and look at how much height you got. You can actually uh, put a nice dress in there and it's not going to get all wrinkled. Now they cut the shirt closet to leave the back open. So two things. Uh, it gives you an extra place for storage. There's a power outlet and a USB outlet on one side and a power outlet on the other. But it also gives you the impression that when you're laying in bed, you're not sleeping against the wall. I'm a big fan. A shelf at the back as well. I can put a few bins in there. There is a roof vent for extra ventilation. AC vents on the roof. And there is a heat vent on the floor. There is a light switch on the wall as well. So all in all, a beautiful little trailer, 28 foot 9 overall length, it weighs 6,030 pounds, so it's extremely towable. This little trailer wants to go places. Folks, uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, we've been through uh, pretty much uh, every feature that it has. I'm sure we forgot some, so by all means, give us a call if you have any questions. Hopefully the description on our website is going to help out, but uh, like I said, stop by to see it. We'll be happy to show you. Folks, I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.